Hey, welcome to another session of BitBlocks Arduino DIY. In today's session, we are going to learn how to integrate our Arduino Uno with a DHT11 sensor module. DHT11 is a temperature and a humidity sensor. To make this project, you require an Arduino Uno, a DHT11 temperature sensor, and some jumper wires. Yeah. So let's move on and see how to connect DHT11 with our Arduino Uno. If you can see, our DHT11 has three pins a plus pin, an out pin, and a minus pin. The plus will get connected to either 5 volts or 3.3 volts of your Arduino. The out pin is a signal pin which will get connected to the signal pin that is the digital pin, any of these digital pins of the Arduino Uno. Lastly comes this negative that is the ground pin, yeah, the negative pin which will get connected to the ground of the Arduino as you can see. So let's move on and make the connections. So first, I have this red wire, which will get connected to the plus of the DHT11, and the other end will go to the 5 volts. I'm connecting it to the 5 volts. Yeah. So make sure you connect it to the 5 volts and not the ground. Second is my signal pin, for which I'm using a brown color wire. The middle one, the out, as you can see, I've used a brown color wire yeah and this pin will get connected to pin number three yeah pin number three finally the ground pin that is the minus will get connected to the ground that is the minus of the Arduino the ground so you have two ground pins here and one here you can use any of them so that's it that is how simple the connection between DHT11 and Arduino is. Now, let's move on to the coding part. So now, let's move on to the programming of DHT11. To program it out, we first need to install a library for DHT11. For that, I'll go to Sketch, Include Library, followed by Manage Libraries. Let it load. Here, I'll search for DHT. So, when I scroll down, I find this DHT sensor library by Adopt Root, and the version is 1.4.3. This version is tested, so you can install it out. So I've closed it and I'll make now some space about white setup. The first step here I'll do is I have to first include the library. First I have to import the downloaded library to this code file. How will I do that? Hashtag include double quotes dht dot h. Yeah, this is how I have imported the downloaded library. Now, I have to define a pin. So usually what we do is we write int or maybe some variable or some name sensor pin equals to and the pin number. Here in our case, it is 3. Yeah. But in this code, what we are going to do is we, have to, we are going to define a constant. Okay. So how will I do that? Hashtag define. Okay. Then I'll give it a name, dht pin and uh, pin number 3. Yeah. So this constant means that this pin number here won't change. Okay, hashtag define DHT uh, pin three means this pin number won't change. Okay, now I have to define the type of the DHT sensor. So here I'll give it another name as DHT type, and then DHT eleven. Okay, 
Now this has to be written as it is. Don't make any changes here, okay? Because there are different types of DHT sensors available. DHT 11, DHT 22, DHT, uh, DHT 33, okay? So this is DHT 11. So this has to be written as it is, okay? Only the things that you can change is this name here, okay? You can give it any name you want and this name here, okay? Now I'm going to create an object out of it. What is an object? Object is actually a very you know programming concept so we won't be diving deeper into it yeah you can just follow it and if you want to learn more about it you can find the videos online you know to go and learn about what objects are in programming yeah so to make the object what i have to write is i have to write the name as dht okay then followed by dht yeah then this thing here the, the first pin number which i have written here comma the second thing here yeah close the bracket semicolon that's it this is how i define the pin number i've created the object i've also defined what kind of dht sensor i have okay now let's move on to it so once this is done i will begin my dht sensor okay by writing dht dot begin as you can see my begin has got colored that means it is Correct, yeah. Then I want to print my DHT sensor to the serial monitor available here. Okay, to the serial monitor available here. Right now it is not uh, available. Yeah, okay. Let me just select my COM port. Let me connect my Arduino so that we get access to it. Yeah, and now it should be available as you can see. So I want my temperature to be printed in this serial monitor here. Okay, this is called a serial monitor. Where is it? It is below this cross, this, this magnifying glass. Yeah, you can also find it in tools as serial monitor. And the shortcut is control plus shift plus M. So I want to print my data there. So to do that, first what I have to do is I have to write serial dot begin, similar to the one up and I'll write 9600. 9600 is the border that is this you know the speed of communication now i'll print something first serial dot print ln dht shall start something like this anything that you want and semicolon all this will be inside white setup okay then i'll give a delay of 2000 because initially what happens is the DHT sensor takes some time to load it doesn't start immediately once the power is applied it takes some time so I'll give some time you know for the DHT sensor so I've given some two seconds of delay for the DHT sensor to load now I want to read the temperature first or maybe the humidity first I'll write read humidity humidity like this yeah and then I'll save it in a variable, okay? For example, float, float humidity equals to read humidity semicolon. What this will do is this thing here, so I have to write, sorry, my, my mistake, I have to write dht dot read humidity, yeah? So what this thing will do here is it will read the humidity from the dht sensor, okay? And then it will store it in this variable here, okay? That is this name here. It will store it in this name i can give it any name i have written your humidity i can write just h u m or h okay so right now i'll write dht dot sorry just humidity i'll give it a name as humidity similarly i'll do it for temperature yeah i'll do it for temperature so i'll just copy this line okay and then i'll write dht dot temperature temperature yeah and here I'll just write temp, temp, C, capital C. Why is capital C? Because it is in Celsius, yeah. Then I'll write float, temp, F. If I want to read it in, you know, the Fahrenheit, I'll write DHT dot read, same temperature, temperature. And here inside, I'll write true. This will make it read in Fahrenheit. Now, once this is done, I have to print it out. Yeah, I'm reading the humidity, storing it in this word called as humidity. 
then reading the temperature, storing in it in temp C, temperature in Fahrenheit, storing it in temp F, yeah, now I have to print it out, yeah. How will I print it out? So, serial dot print, first I want to print the humidity, so I am writing humidity, humidity, sorry, yeah, I am writing humidity, colon, so I have given some space here, okay, so that it can print, it will get some space to print, okay, then serial dot print, and I will print humidity, the actual humidity from here, okay, then serial dot print, first I will print percentage, okay, why percentage I am printing, because humidity is in percentage, okay, that is why percentage, okay, followed by, I will be printing the temperature, so serial dot print, temperature, then the actual temperature in Celsius, so that is temp C, temp C, yeah, sorry, don't give a quotes here, then I'll print serial dot print, I'll just give it that star C, sorry, star C which indicates Celsius, so temperature, give some space, the value and star C. Similarly, I'll just copy this to last two lines, okay, I'll give some space after uh, Celsius because I want, you know, uh, a distance after percentage as well, yeah, like this. I'll give it some space so that this T and this percentage doesn't stick together. I want some space between that, yeah. So, yeah, and here I'll write temp F. The next thing is I'll save the code. I'll save it in desktop maybe as DHT11. And, uh, okay, I already have a code. I'll write temperature and moisture maybe moisture yeah and I'll verify the code once and I'll upload it once uploaded I'll go to the serial monitor to see the outcome okay so you as you can see it is printing very fast and in one single line so there's some error so let's correct it out first in the last line what we'll do is to make it print you know in the separate lines i'll write print ln only in the last line okay i'll write print ln and then i'll followed by i'll give it a delay of maybe 2000 seconds yeah and i'll upload it again Now let's check our COM port. So it's printing the DHT shall start. So as you can see, it is printing the humidity, the temperature in Celsius, and okay, so here it should be Fahrenheit, yeah? So I'll just write star F and not star C. The last line for temperature in Fahrenheit, after that I'll write star F and not star C. in my com port again I'll clear the data so now you can see 42 degrees is my humidity temperature is 32 degrees in Celsius and 91 degrees in Fahrenheit and tada this is how you connect a temperature sensor with Arduino and your core data so make your own projects yeah I hope you enjoyed tada bye bye